G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Now today what I've got here is uh, one of those remote control birds. Uh, I actually decided to pick one of these up from AliExpress. I paid for it about a month ago and it arrived a couple of weeks ago. Now um, this one looked interesting because it looked very similar, almost basically like a rebrand of the fairly popular, I guess, uh, GoGo bird that's been doing the rounds on YouTube lately. There's quite a few reviews on uh, that go-go bird. So anyway, I uh, end up seeing this one while browsing on AliExpress and it looked very similar to the actual genuine go-go bird. So I thought I'll give it a go. It was only around 20 bucks shipped. And uh, yeah, this is it here, guys. So as you can see, it's very small. Uh, we've got a rudder on the back here. Okay, and um, it's mainly made out of plastic here. Even the actual wings are pretty light. Uh, they're that thin, but uh, we've got plastic all around. And on the bottom here, we have the charging port and the power on and off switch. It's just a little switch that you press in. You've got the LED light ready to bind. You've got a blue one just here on the body and a red one at the front. Fairly simple construction here, very lightweight. We've got a bit of foam here too for the tail of the uh, bird itself and the rudder as well. Okay, and it came with the little charger here, the USB to the little uh, jack to plug underneath the bird here, just there, and you run it on a USB. Now, I'm not too sure what size the battery is uh, on this one. I couldn't really find it on the online specs, and I'll show you the little placard here that it came in. It's all in Chinese, guys, so. We've got the uh, little one-handed remote control here, guys. It's very simple. Got an LED light on the top, uh, the button on the side here. Okay, it takes two AAA batteries just there on the back. Okay, and it's just your basic throttle up and down, left and right movement to operate the rudder. And we've got some buttons here, uh, which I end up translating from the uh, instruction manual on the back of that uh, placard. Uh, this one is meant to be lights on and lights off and left and right trim the ok button it doesn't really have any function at all so going on to the uh packaging that it came in as you can see it's all in chinese uh, this basically means eight plus years it's got the name of the actual rc and uh yeah it's all in chinese guys okay so what i actually did on the back you've got actual instructions here also in chinese okay what i actually did was uh I downloaded an app to translate uh, what it is in English. Basically, I translated what was important. So like the controls there, which I just mentioned, what the controls were. And uh, there's a little bit of information here about the little flaps on the back here. Uh, basically, number six here, if you have them um, upwards, it's supposed to slow down the bird. And if you have these flaps downwards, you just bend them down. Okay, upwards or downwards like that. Um, it will actually make it um, fly quicker if it's downwards. Okay, so let's uh, bind it. So we'll turn it on. Okay, and we'll turn the controller on as well. And you just have to go up and down like a toy grade quadcopter. And just put the throttle up. And you can see the wing flap. That's full speed. And on the back here, you'll see the rudder left to right. Okay. So there we have it, guys. That is the, um, well, it's not called a go-go bird. I don't know what it's called. I think it's called the e-bird, this one, when I translated it on my phone. So uh, let's go out to the field. I'll charge it up fully, of course, and uh, we'll see if it flies just like the go-go bird that this one looks like it's based on. So I'll catch us out at the field. I'm out at the field now with this little remote control bird, the uh, go-go bird look-alike, okay? Now it's fully charged. I've got it bound here to the controller. So let's see how it flies for the $20 Australian from AliExpress. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay. Might have to uh, toss it up a little bit, a little bit more. What I'll do is uh, bend these tabs a bit. Let's see how it goes. 
Alright. There we have it. Look at that. Does fly like a bird. <laughs> I'll bring down the, uh, getting up there, just let it glide down, get away from the tree, okay, just wanted to get away from the tree there, <laughs> but it does fly pretty good, there's not much wind out here today. Might go into the wind. The wind is actually picking up now. Going towards those trees again. I don't want it to go towards the tree. Oh, here we go. Yeah, the wind's taking it because it's very, very light. So I'm going to have to walk into the middle of the field next. Now I'll. Uh, get away from these trees. Time. I'm in the middle of the field now. Just bending these tabs down. It's meant to make it go faster. So hopefully it will fight the wind a bit better. We'll see. It's getting a bit more windier than when I first took off. Oh, it doesn't like that. Okay, here we go. That. Pretty cool. <laughs> Remote control bird. <laughs> this wind does affect it though, guys. I suggest uh, flying it on a dead calm day or indoors in a gymnasium or something would be really good. Would be ideal for this. But we'll keep going. We'll keep going, we'll keep flying it. As best as I can. With the wind conditions that I've got now. So yeah, it just reminds me of the go-go bird, that's for sure. And then you can just kill the motors. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I've done it too soon. Could have kept it flying for a bit longer there. But I just want to demonstrate that you can make it glide if it gets a bit too windy. Let's put it up again. Okay, yeah, definitely the wind affects it though, but it does fly, for 20 bucks, it's not too bad. One of the wings just uh, dislodged the little rod there, but easy fix, just pop it back in. Now this must have a really small lipo on it, probably 150 milliamp hour or something like that. Not too sure of the size, but. Yeah, the wind's taking it again. Okay, let's give it another go before I wrap this video up. Might be losing power now. Let's give it another go, guys. Okay, I think the battery might be losing a bit of power now. I don't expect it to last that long. And this wind ain't helping either now. Yeah. All right, guys, well, I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, I think it's losing a bit of power with the battery now. Uh, but, yeah, it does fly not too bad, actually, considering the price of it. I mean, it is only $20 from AliExpress. So as far as being a clone or copy of the GoGo bird, I think it done a pretty good job, um, considering it's about half the price of the GoGo bird, which I'm pretty sure retails at around uh, $39 US. And uh, when I saw it at Kmart here in Australia, it was around $39 Australian as well, close to that $40 mark. So anyway, guys, yeah, I mean, it does fly pretty decent. 
just like the uh, go-go bird um, obviously wind is a factor when you find these little lightweight uh, RCs um, you know it is going to get blown away as you can see at times it got blown away on me uh, when the wind picked up but uh, on a dead calm day this would be perfect to fly or indoors in like a big open area uh, I'll leave a link to this one where I got it from from AliExpress in the description below if you're interested uh, you could probably get two of these instead of getting one of the original go-go birds so if you've got some uh, young children they'd really like this for you know the price anyway so that will wrap up this review of this remote control bird guys um, thanks very much for watching if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and uh, hit that notification bell for more RC videos like this. So until next time, happy flying and happy RCing.